What's going on everyone? Mitch Durfee here with Trent and today we're going to be covering how to import leads into Podio. So when you're working with new sellers, hot sellers or cash buyers, you can use these strategies to uh, create your list inside Podio so you can follow up with them later. Trent, are you ready to do this? I am ready, Mitch. <laughs> awesome. So I'm going to share my screen here. Thanks so much for uh, working with me on this one. Uh, can you see everything fine? Oh yeah, it looks great. Per perfect. So what we're doing here is just like before when inside Podio, uh, we are going into the Cleveland, Ohio market and inside here you have your sellers leads and your cash buyers leads along with realtors, contractors and everything like that. Now in here, what I want to show you real quick is if you're working with cash buyers, there's a couple of different ways that you can add these cash buyers in here. And I'm actually just going to delete these two, uh, just so you can kind of see how to remove some. But in here, you can add your cash buyers in one by one just by going in here and clicking on add and you'll be able to go through and select the different categories right here. Um, the other way that I like to do it is actually, if you click on this little wrench, you can go down to the web form and I actually prefer this way. Um, now, when you originally click on your web form, it's not going to look like this. You are going to have to configure some of your settings um, over here where you can do that is in the title and description. So Cleveland Ohio's cash buyers interested in off market investment deals. And the other thing that we did, um, let's see, here, just going to get out of here. So we're going to save and share that. Well, you know, setting up and modifying your form, but this again, just going into your cash buyers, clicking on your gearbox and clicking on your web form. You can see this list here. You have a shareable link that you can actually click on and this will bring you to another form. Or if you have your own website, whatever website that may be, you can actually embed this code so that you can have your Cleveland, Ohio uh, cash buyer list built right into that. So for example, break free flipping.com slash uh, buyers, cash buyers, or whatever you want that to be, you can have this form embedded into that website. So this is what it's going to look like. Um, right here, you can actually go in and enter your uh, cash buyers right here, just their information, name, first name, last name, um, are they wholesaling, what are they trying to invest in, and you know the price points that they're looking at for the market. So this is a way to add leads in one by one, or if you come across the buyer, you can actually just give them this link uh, or the link to the URL to your website and they can fill that information out. Now, if you have a giant buyers list like my buddy Trent here and you wanna upload that list, there is another way to do that and I'm gonna show you that real quickly. So again, go back to your cash buyers list and on the cash buyers list, you're gonna click on the, the wrench again and the first thing you want to do if you haven't already done this is you can actually just click on the Excel, I'm um, sorry, uh, export the Excel and it'll, it'll give you uh, basically the layout of your form. So if you have this template just by going on the uh, ex export uh, the form, it'll give you all the names and categories. So you can drag and drop the first name, last name and email address if you already have that and then maybe another spreadsheet. And what that spreadsheet will look like is this, with all the categories that you've added to your, uh, your form for cash buyers. Uh, I usually make the top of this bold just so I can kind of see the categories, but again, first name, last name, and you know what markets they're interested in, how many transactions. These are just numbers that we just popped in here just to kind of show you. Uh, you can fill this, all this information out, but you can just go with your know, first, last name, and email address or phone number so you have a way of contacting these uh, sellers and save that list. And when you go in here, you can import your entire list of your buyers list by either dragging and dropping it or choosing the Excel file. Um, so we're just going to choose this file right here, cash buyers, open it up and it will grab all the categories in there. And it only takes a few seconds to go through and then you just drag and map out each section. Right, so right here it's asking for the first name, it's asking for the last name, cash buyer type, you know, so all these categories that line up. This is why I, I suggest that you export the, the categories first, uh, even if it's blank, because then you can just literally have the, all the categories the same as, same template, 
that you already have set up. Click the next button. Uh, and now this is what an option is for keeping your data clean. All right, toggle the key to avoid creating duplicate data. If, they, if you click the key and that data in the column matches an existing value in Podio, instead of creating a new item, the existing item will be updated. Now, this is something that's really important because if you have uh, a cash buyer that's already on your list, you don't want to create 10 of the same contacts. It just doesn't look professional. I have a, I have a tax accountant that mails me three coupons every year for me to file with them because they have me saved in their CRM multiple times. Just doesn't look professional. So Mitch Durfee, um, we're just gonna, again, this is just the mapping of it. So if this matches another contact, Mitch Durfee, or my phone number or my email address, if any of that information is identical, it will not create a new contact. So this is something that I really suggest you do. So when you click import, it's gonna import the two rows that we have on that uh, file. If you have more than two, two names in that file, it'll import all of them. And once that's finished importing, uh, I wish this automatically updated, it doesn't. You have to click the refresh button. And when you click the refresh button, you will see these names in here. From here, you can click on the contacts and you can actually, um, you know, if you want, you can add more categories to them you know, buy and wholesale, all that fun stuff, uh, multifamily cash offers, and it'll update these records. So real quick, just to, cover, just to recover every, or go back over everything we covered here. Um, when you were adding these contacts, there's multiple ways for you to add the contacts. Again, one of the, sim, or, or the first way to do it is to click on add cash buyer. Uh, the second way to do it is to go to the web form, which is the way I prefer. And if you're like Trent and you have a huge buyers list and you want to do it all in one fell swoop, you can just do, uh, you can export it and then add your names into your contact sheets and then import it. So hopefully this helps you when you're uploading your list. You can do the same exact process for your seller's leads, for your realtors, for your contractors, for cash buyers. Uh, this process will help you generate your seller's list and your buyer's list. So I hope this helps you. Trent, do you have anything to add? I would just like to add that you did that very well, very well said. <laughs> and thank you very much for sharing. I'm sure it, a lot of people would appreciate that. Awesome. Well, that's it for this lesson. We'll see you in the next one. All right. Thanks, everyone. See you soon.